Welcome back to Make With Me Here. In today's episode, we'll be building a simple and cheap Arduino controlled robot. Okay, we're not going to need too much of this build because the whole point of this build is to show you the combination of software and hardware to form robotics. So we're really gonna, only going to need two motors, their brackets with some nuts and bolts, an Arduino, and a motor controller to control the motors through the Arduino. For the chassis, we're going to be using this switch mounting plate. This is used to mount switches on walls. Now let's get started with the build. First, I marked out and drilled the holes for the motor mounting brackets. I used a piece of wood under the switch plate to prevent any blowout. I then went ahead and attached the motor mounting brackets to the frame itself using some nuts and bolts. Then, using some smaller nuts and bolts, the bolts were used as spacers, I attached the motors to each of the brackets. Do this for both of the sides. Next, I used some double-sided tape to attach the Arduino and the L298N motor driver to the frame itself. You want to center these up well as this will affect the looks of your robot. Alright, now, uh, if you may have noticed, the wheels are going to be at the back but there is nothing on the front. So, we are going to be attaching this omnidirectional wheel called a caster wheel and I have marked out three holes for that and I am going to go ahead and drill them out now. And as always, you want to keep a piece of spare wood behind the object you are drilling to prevent any blow up. I then went ahead and used some nuts and bolts to attach the caster to the chassis. Okay, now we're going to talk about the electronics. So we're controlling two big 12 volt motors here with an Arduino that can only output so much current and so much voltage. To bridge the gap, we're going to be using an L29810 motor driver. What this does is, it takes four inputs from the Arduino and basically amplifies that current to 12 volts at 2 amps for the motors. Now obviously we can't just pull 12 volts 2 amps out of nowhere. That's why you have to put a 12 volt input into the main board itself. If you didn't understand that, we're going to draw a functional block diagram and you'll understand it much better. So we have four inputs in the form of two pairs going in and we have four outputs in the form of two pairs going out. Now these two outputs can control one motor each. So motor and motor. Now over here we'll be giving plus 3.3 volts as in form of the inputs but to give 12 volts we have to supply 12 volts over here. Like so. Basically now, we can, like, like we control a regular motor with an Arduino through any two pins, the same way we'll control these two motors, except instead of running off the Arduino's power, they'll be running off the 12 volts coming from our battery. So if we give positive here and negative here from the Arduino, the motor will spin in a particular direction. And if we reverse that polarity with the Arduino, the motor will spin in the opposite direction. That's basically how the electronics works, and now I'm going to go and prototype it all out in a time lapse. Next, for the electronics, you want to use some red and black wire, tin the ends and attach them to the positive and negative terminals of the motor. Route it through the back and attach it to the corresponding terminals of the outputs of the L29810 motor driver. You want to do this for both the sides, that is both the motors. I then went ahead and used some male to female jumpers to attach the inputs of the L29810 motor driver to the Arduino. And there you have it, all the hardware for your robot is all done. Everything is the same except off camera I added one XT60 battery connector just so that I can easily attach and detach my LiPo battery here. It's a 11.1 volt battery, but on full charge, it actually reaches over 12 volts. So it's perfect for this project. You can even use a battery from an RC car or even two 9 volt batteries if you don't have one of these. Now, for those of you who want a circuit schematic, um, I don't have a software schematic because I don't know how to make those. But basically, pins 2, 3, 4 and 5 on the Arduino connect to inputs 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the L293D motor driver. Now Arduino's ground and the motor driver's ground will connect together and they will of course connect to the big battery's ground. Now the voltage in of the Arduino and the voltage in of the motor driver will connect to the 12 volts. So the battery supplies the Arduino and the motor driver. That's all the wiring, now all that's left is to upload the code and see this thing run. And there you have it, your very first Arduino controlled robot. Now this doesn't have any inputs and only has two motors and only goes backwards, forwards, left and right. But the whole point of this is to show you how simple it is to automate something. You can apply these concepts to anything. In upcoming videos, we'll be adding sensors, more motors, more outputs and displays to make this robot completely autonomous. 
Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you have a great day.